Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. All right, guys, we have a very special video for you guys this week as our Options Basics series, episode four is ready. And while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you wanna watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. Hello, MIC members. This is John, AK Wildlife in MIC Chat, back for our fourth episode of Options Basics. Um, just wanted to say thanks to the people that reached out or provided some comments on the first few videos. Uh, all of them were extremely positive, so um, I'm going to continue to uh, make content as long as people are willing to spend the time to uh, listen to the videos and uh, learn something. So I uh, just say, wanted to say thanks, and again, if there's anything specific that the you didn't understand or have questions on that you want us to discuss or want me to discuss in one of the videos, please DM me. Um, any questions, more than happy to help in uh, any way that I can. So uh, we'll just continue on um, real quick. We've talked about in the past, we talked about options, obviously, but what calls and puts are. We talked about option premiums, kind of how that's um, derived, the big factors. We talked about expiration dates, uh, option strings and naming conventions. We talked about as option traders what our edge is and so um, is known as pretty much uh, aka implied volatility. Uh, we talked about ticker VIX, how we as option traders uh, want to pay attention to this and kind of at what levels there that we kind of get a little more interested in. Um, and then we talked about how important implied volatility rank is not so we did talk about implied volatility kind of what that means but how important implied volatility rank is as it puts um, relativity to the current levels of implied volatility so the next part um, we're going to go over is the Greeks and I'm not talking about any characters from uh, the big fat Greek m m wedding movies or any of those or Greek mythology, so those might be a little more interesting than what we're going to discuss. But nonetheless, uh, the Greeks are some important parts of you know options. And just a quick basic uh, rundown is what I plan on doing. Uh, there's a couple that I use a lot more than the others, so I'm going to focus more on those. So Delta and Theta are the two that I think um, just personally how what I use to kind of uh, in my option trading more than the other ones the the uh, gamma theta or excuse me Vega and Rho so those are the those are the um, the Greeks so we're going to go through each one real quick and we'll just start off with Delta so Delta is a number that measures how much the theoretical value of the option will change if the underlying stock moves up or down a dollar and the key part with this one is all things have to remain equal because because obviously the option premium a big piece of it is implied volatility so if implied volatility stays the same what this delta is taking is measuring is if the stock moves up a dollar you know what uh, what the option price should move you know towards so um, we're going to go down into an example down here so we'll take a you know then we can kind of put it into mathematical uh, visual uh, terms so we can kind of see where we're at. Um, so another thing, uh, at the money options, deltas are always close to 50. And so um, I'm gonna open up my option string. I'm gonna go jump in the November, so they're 45 days out to expiration on the day that I'm recording this. So I'm gonna click on that. So here's my in the money, out of the money line that Tasty works um, for those of you who had watched the other videos, knows that this is the platform that I use to kind of 
uh, get some great information, ID rank and some, you know, visual. Uh, the, I use a table view. It's just easier for me to look at real quickly. But you can see right at the money, these deltas. So here's the here's the delta column right here. See 53 for this one, that's 95, 51 or 0 0.51. I'm just saying uh, 0 0.47, 0 0.49. So these are right around 50, right here around that line. That's what this is illustrating. And so uh, the more in the money the option is, the closer the delta is to one, and that would be on the call side, because uh, calls always have positive deltas, right? Um, and then on the put side, puts always have negative deltas. So what we'll, what I'll do real quick is I'll scroll up so you can see these numbers are slowly going up, going up, going up, getting closer to one, getting closer to one. Uh, it doesn't get to one because um, stock has a delta of exactly one. So you can see, you know, the 140 call, 47 days out as a 99. These are all 99s, but you can see if you add the two prices together, you get pretty darn close, and we'll do that real quick. Um, so bring my calculator in. So 140 plus, you know, it's 150. We'll just, you know, even if we did the 155, 155.95. 155. So it's basically, it's saying 295.95. That's pretty much, you know, right around, even if you if you split the difference, you'd be right at the, the current price. So this this call right here is going to, and majority of these are going to act like long stock. So uh, same would be true with the puts, the higher you go. So these these puts are in the money because they're above the strike price. So anything in this delta, you can see 99 is going to act like a short. Um, you're short 100 shares of SPY. So that's kind of how you look at uh, the delta. So when um, so the example we gave, so uh, stock XYZ has a tw uh, twenty call, twenty dollar call, has a fifty delta and is trading at two dollars. So that's the option premium. Okay. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley ninety in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.